bro. The producers nah. in Raleigh is crazy right now. I ain't even gonna lie. They they go dumb. Man, again, this this shit just showed that. not working with the right artists. Bro, bro. Be, yeah. Yo, you got some niggas in the way, bro. You be having these niggas that they craft not all the way like that, but they got 400 to pay the camera nigga to have him on standby. You Literally. Really like, they got they got the money to be in the stool every day and all night. Talk about, you know, that, that journey of just being independent because, again, like, this shit ain't free. You feel me? Like, what's your passion to keep y'all going to really, you know, is it just because you got family that you're doing it for? You know, is it a, somebody like a BZ or a Taylor calling you? Like, come on, bro. Like, get on your shit. Like, really? Yeah, really? People around me really push me, bro. Yeah, I was just doing a little freestyling, doing that shit. But they like, nah, bro, you need to make music. Yeah. That exactly. shit can go far. Yo, this yeah. kid was make like... Music. 12, 13 battle rapping and parties, you feel me? Like, uh, I wasn't doing okay. no rapping as a kid, you feel me? Oh, uh, man, we in the parties. real classic shit. Yo, mm-hmm. we in the parties, I see somebody rapping, I go grab his hand, like, yo, you about to battle this nigga right yeah. now, you feel me? Like, uh, my yo, biggie shit. Me? Yo, bro, I'm talking about young and, like, teen parties, like, we in eighth grade, ninth grade. Sky you know? High Days type shit? Before that, oh, before. though, bro, before yeah. that. Yeah. I ain't never been in that Sky High shit. Before that, bro, he was, this dude was battle rapping any and everybody, bro. Respect. You know? I think I think what keep us going is is the people around us though. Cause yeah. once we started, yo manifest. That's how we started doing music. Mm. We was in the studio with D Money one day, and manifest turned around from the computer and acted like, "What y'all do?" Is that an engineer? Yeah, J Manifest. J Manifest. Yeah, man, he a okay. producer, engineer, all of it. Bet, bet, bet. He asked us like, "Yo, what y'all do?" I mean, we was like, "Shit, we just chilling." Like D Money at home, we ain't like, and we don't got no entourages around. You feel me? Y'all niggas gotta do something. Mm. Nigga told D Money to make a beat. He left, he was like, when I come back, have a song together. Nigga left the studio, came back. We had made, had a whole song together. That's where we made Make It Work, where Tusi was dancing, you feel me? Make it, that, shit, that shit was hard though, like. That was our first song ever, bro. You feel know I me? Mean? Manifest put us in the studio after that, we dropped it. Yo, we got so much good feedback from that, I'm like, we gotta do this. Yeah, we gotta yeah. keep that shit going. Nice. You know I mean, like, if we wanted to be, you know, every kid wanted to be a basketball player, football player when they yeah. younger, you feel know I me? Mean? We was hooping. After we started being around the music, being in the studios with D Money and all that, shit, it just made sense to jump into it. You feel me? And then we was, we just getting feed, good feedback, so you must have something on your hands. You feel me? So right. we just kept going with it. Yeah, okay. Uh, even though we, we didn't mention a few names on camera already, you know, right. tap me and kind of who do y'all see really that's you know doing work right now? Who who should oh, folks be really, tapping? Me personally, I don't really work with too many people. Yeah, I don't do, but Facts. I definitely be seeing what's going on. You feel me? Facts. Like, like top shotter, mm-hmm. oh, top yeah, shotter, he be going crazy. My, my, my guy sturdy, he going sturdy. He yo, going crazy right now. My guy sturdy going two bananas. Okay. Who else out here going crazy? Uh, you know, you know the family, the bros, mm-hmm. Max Taylor, Beezy. So, you know I mean, Murphy Kid, the producer, bro. I'm telling y'all, gotta tap in with bro. Murphy he Kid. He got the Chris Brown yeah. Thugger album going crazy. Oh man. You know I mean, uh, who else music wise out here going crazy rapping? Uh. I ain't gonna I've been saying, oh, why is B Sunny making noise too? Though? Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sunny. He, 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 he going up right now. Nah, you, can't even, sure. you can't talk about Raleigh without even talking about YSB. Mm-hmm. Nah, little, little sure. bro, definitely. And he turned up in some time. That's what I'm saying. Hey, he, he was the one of the first ones I saw that, like, oh, shit, this nigga's serious. Like, or he, you could tell whoever was behind him, he had some type of engine behind Yo, him. Yo, and that's what it is, bro. It's not, not trying to be funny, but when you got when you coming from the gang culture and you got Nick, your, your, your people that's behind you, and they gonna push the craft yeah. like it's theirs. Mm-hmm. You gonna win every time. That's, bro. that's you real genuine and, love type shit. Yo, know, them shines that's behind YSB, they pushing that shit like it's theirs. You feel me? They wearing the, the clothing. You feel me? Anytime you see him, you see them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, and, he got, and he got the energy too. Yeah, that's know? a fact. Yeah. And they, they, they moving as a unit, bro. I definitely see what y'all why be doing out there. Big Mally, big, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? She going crazy. Oh yeah, big Mally. Tusi, you feel me? He family. Tusi going crazy. Nah, for sure. It's it's a lot going on out here. I ain't gonna lie. I just I haven't gotten around to really working with people yet. Every time I'm in the studio, I'm locked in on like personal projects. Personal, and yeah. Me and bro got going on. I was I was just about to type in about that because I, I remember back then, most of y'all was doing mostly like you know collab releases, collab mm-hmm. projects. What kind of really inspired y'all to just, you know, like, you know, let me, let me really just get in my bag and start doing like individual projects. Cause I know it's still all love, you know, yeah, shit. That's a, niggas. Fact. that's a fact. Um, but yeah, kind of culture. shit ain't going nowhere. Really, really just the, the audience, man. They, they wanted to hear us by ourselves. You feel me? They know we sound fire. We got two different styles. Yeah. On track. 
So they just wanted to hear what it sounded like solo. You feel me? Facts. So we just gave them a little taste of that. It's uh, it's funny. It's not even funny, but. I, I really, y'all both definitely two two different styles. Mm-hmm. I would say for sure, both still fire. I, I would say, from my opinion, I feel like you know, like we gonna always come with like the bars are like this, and like I'm trying to see whether it, it's like the bars and the cadence. You feel mm-hmm. me? And then you know, I feel like. It's, it's swag in there too, but I feel like you know, Uptown be really bringing that swag. swag you feel me? Like, like <laughs> if you do, you know, like you be swag. coasting on that bitch. Yeah, like that that was even one thing I can see that stands out from back then. So I, I'm I need to go tap. What's what's your project out now? You said gifted, gifted with, with a curse. curse. I'm gonna go tap in with that after that because I'm still remembering your shit from 2016. Yeah. I remember you was fired. Then I see the intro. I'm like, oh shit, like. But yeah. really out there on his Word. on his own shit, so that, that's that's hard for sure. The audience definitely was every time we was dropping, bro, you would get you would get mixed reviews like 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 yo, I like I like you went hard on that joint, you feel me? On that on the, on the next one, they be like yo, Uptown killed you, feel me? Yeah, really being in the studio with Taylor, Max Taylor, he was like yo, y'all need to drop a solo tape, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo, I swear like BZ and Max Taylor be the be the, be the minds behind a lot of this shit, bro. Yeah. And they one of our biggest critics, too. Yeah, right, mm. bro. Yo, Max Taylor was in, every day we was in the studio, Max Taylor just like, yo, what's up with that solo tape? Where Max Taylor, though, he was he was on us, like, yo, y'all need that solo tape, just because, just like you said, bro, Rod, super swaggy, you feel me? Then yeah. When I come on, you just know my voice from, from anywhere, you yeah. feel me? So, that energy, like, bro, I love that shit, yeah. bro. Nah, for sure. Word, bro. So, so, Taylor, BZ and Taylor made with just on some shit, like, yo, Give, give them a gift of, of each, you feel me? Individually, you feel me? Facts. I think that really like I think I think that that brung the, the, the audience together more. You feel me? I think they tapped in a little more hearing, hearing us individually. Cause mm-hmm. now we we brought we, we brought what we could bring to the table, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Not combined together, you feel me? So yo, I loved it. I ain't gonna lie, people Feedback was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Big I'm fact. just ready to get back. Shit, definitely fun though. We about to drop another collab tape. Yeah. You feel me? So it's all strategic now, like yeah. Man, look, everything we do, it's a reason behind it. You yeah. feel me? 